All right, Kish, let's talk about how we make compressed air for the system. So within the XP configuration, we have an onboard compressor. It's an Alkin type, and we're producing 36 to 38 bar and storing it in within this pressure cylinder here. Uh, this gives us all the pressure that we require to have the 30 bar that actually the system's needed to operate correctly. Um, it's a three phase electrical run compressor, relatively low maintenance. Um, for the user, it's a case of just topping up the oil as and when it's needed, uh, which you can see in the sight glass and changing filters uh, after certain specified maintenance periods. Uh, it works really well. Uh, we don't have really any issues with these at all. Um, they consistently provide power and they give us uh, the ability to be expeditionary by having it on board in this particular system. I can see the uh, lots of uh, what looks like soundproofing and red light. Can you talk me through that? Yep, so we have uh, the red light system, so it automatically defaults. So we developed the entire system with military applications in mind, first and foremost. So red light doesn't actually disrupt and give away your signature in the field in military situations. The soundproofing makes it uh, very good for military applications as well. It runs nice and silent in the field, uh, literally 10 meters away from the uh, machine. You can't actually hear the machine running. So when it comes to uh, different types of signature in the field in a military application, uh, we have very lo low ground signature, sound signature, uh, light signature.